Well, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. We praise Him because He is the giver of life. And He said that everything that has got breath, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So this morning, I'm forever grateful that you and I have got to share in the Word of God. And I believe that the Word of God that we'll be sharing will help you and establish you and strengthen you so that you can continue to bring glory to God. So this morning, I'll encourage you from the book of Psalms, chapter number 37. Psalms chapter number 37 and verses 23, and it says this. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his ways. So here we are being told that God actually delights in our way. In other words, he takes pleasure in the things that we do. And so we are told that in order for God to delight or take pleasure in the things that we do, we've got to understand that he's the one who orders our steps. The steps of a good man or the steps of a righteous man are ordered of the Lord. The word ordered there simply means to be established. We do have plans and the things we would like to do in life, which are great. We need to have plans because we're being told to plan. And the Bible says it shall be good to you for the things that you have planned for. But then we've got to understand that we can plan, yes, but in order for it to be established, it is God who is going to establish that. We do not establish our plans. God established our plans because there could be a way that seems right before you, but before the Lord, it is not right. It leads to destruction. So your plan that you have, God will help you to understand that that will lead you to destruction or that will lead you into victory or success or prosperity. And therefore, God orders our steps. Make a plan, and when you make a plan, let him establish your plan. Let him establish your steps. Let him establish your orders that you have. Let him continue to minister to you and verify to you and confirm to you that the step that you are taking is right and establishing it, which means these parts, these steps are going to be established based on the word of God. Because the Bible says, forever, O Lord, thy word is established in heaven. So whatever you are planning, Make sure that it is based on the word of God. And when it is based on the word of God, it says now the steps of a good man are ordered or established by the Lord. It says steps. It does not say a step. So in other words, it means there is a process to everything that you do because there are steps that will take you there. And those steps have to be one step after the other and the Lord will establish it. Don't try to jump up. Only take a step with the Lord because he's establishing every step that you are taking. And every step that you take as it is being established, it gives you a proper foundation to the next level or the next place you are going into. So many people give up on some of their things that they have, the plans that they have. Some people have plans to be healthy. They start so well by going to the gym, eating healthy. Only within two weeks they give up. Why? Because they were trying to jump instead of taking a step. They go to the gym and begin to work for two hours. Yet they've not even been able to work for 15 minutes. You need to start with 15 minutes because every step you take establishes you for the next other step. And therefore, when you take a step, take 15 minutes. Start with 15 minutes. You get used to 15. You go to 30. You go to 30. You go to 45. Then you go to an hour. Then you go to an hour and a half. Then you go to two hours. You see, your steps are being established because you are doing things that are achievable, achievable and they are real, realistic. And so we've got to understand that God delights in your way. God delights, takes pleasure in what you do. But you've got to understand, you've got to take them one step after another. Not leaps and bounds, not jumping, but one step after another. And he's establishing those steps of yours. So today I'd like to encourage you, whatever you do, make it realistic and make it achievable. And allow God to establish it through his word. Find out what his word says. Because the word of God is already established in heaven. And once you begin to find what the word of God says and you take one step after another towards that, it will establish you in your life and you'll see God's pleasure in all that you do. So you stay blessed and have a wonderful day.